Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the DCI number 4030B. This is their B strike. They have an A strike, a B strike, and a C strike. This is the B strike. This is used with the 4030 series roller latch. Um, the 4030 is a very classic, very common, typical, uh, you know, design of roller latch. Two and three quarter overall height is what it is. Um, a very, uh, act, actually, per, forgive me, it's three and three eighths overall length. It is a very common and typical, ubiquitous style roller latch used in con uh, commercial doors. It's not a ball catch. It's not a tiny roller catch. It's one intended for a door that would weigh 100 plus pounds. Well, with that, there are three strikes. There's the A strike, which would be like a full lip strike, or what we'd call a D strike. Then there's the B strike, which is this one. We would kind of call that a T strike. If you use your imagination, you can see why. And then the C strike would be the ANSI 4 and 7 8 strike. That would be for a hollow metal frame. The A strike would be typical for wood. The B strike would be typical for wood. The B strike would also be not unheard of in hollow metal as well. You could very easily uh, find hollow metal frame uh, hollow metal frames with wood doors in condo buildings on the North Shore uh, in Chicago, not the North Shore, um, but uh, the north side of Chicago all along the lakefront, all those tall buildings. Three and three quarter throat, three and a half inch throat, you know, single rabbit frames, double rabbit frames, real skinny walls, um, maybe three and a quarter throat, something in that range. Well, that'd probably be bigger than that. Um, I'd say three and three quarter throat. T strikes, you're going to find all the time there. Okay. Now, this is two and three quarter tall, as I had said earlier. That's indeed the case. Its overall width. It's about an inch and 13 sixteenths. That's not how these are measured, though. They're measured from the center line of the screws to the edge of the lip. And you can see that that is about an inch and three eighths. A little bit greater than typical. Um, whereas a standard strike is going to be probably closer to one and a quarter, one and five sixteenths. So a little bit longer than normal. Um, can't see any uh, absolute reason why it's this length. Um, they do say in the drawing that it's 1 in 13 sixteenths. Um, and this is just going to get mortised to the uh, door and frame itself. Or pardon me, to the frame, I should say. Thickness of the strike? 0 .068, 0 .068 thick. This would be made of bronze, although this is probably brass. It's certainly bronze or brass. Definitely non-ferrous with an oil rubbed 613 type finish on it. And that's what this is. Okay. Speaking of those screw those holes, screws are included in a complementary finish. They are they're really a combination style screw. You've got some wood thread featured down at the tip of it. It's a little hard to see through the plastic, but That'll work in either a wood frame or a steel frame. That's how that would work. Uh, there is a link below this video to the cut sheet where you can see a line drawing of the 4030B strike. Uh, let's take a look at those documents right now. So we're going to have a link to the cut sheet, and that's going to show our B strike right here. Not much of a photograph. That's the A strike. But these are indeed your your two other strikes that will be available. Your B and your C strike. You have a hollow metal frame, four and seven eighths tall. That's going to be this strike here, and that's the forty thirty, as you can see, the, that very common and ubiquitous roller latch. There are other variants on roller latches. DCI will give you the the forty thirty, the most common. They'll also do the one that integrates a stop on it. This is where you're going to use, um, and this will have its own strike. This is a 4040, so it's a different strike. It will have this very small, relatively small rectangular strike. Um, this roller latch is used as they show it here um, when you have a frame that does not feature any sort of stop on it. Okay. 
a, uh, an application of that would be center hung pivots with maybe an edge pull or maybe a flush pull. Most of the hardware is, pre almost all of the hardware is thoroughly concealed. You wouldn't see any of that 40-40 when the door is closed, but does give you the ability to have a cased opening frame, install your door, not have um, traditional stops, but to give you the ability to not only keep the door in the secured position, but stop the door from swinging in too far as well. A couple of replacement replaceable bumpers that are there. And they're actually, while it's not in the cut sheet, it would be their part number 8S. That's a replacement rubber bumper that you see there. Okay, so they're only going to give you the 4030 and the 4040. Uh, very common. The 4040 is less common um, because, you know, there's going to be less times that you're going to do um, a single door where you have the need for a stop. You'll also put these at pairs of doors, um, you know, up in the header. It's a lot of hardware to put in the header, but you could certainly um, install them there if you had a pair of doors without a stop. But single doors mostly is where you'll end up seeing that. So the product catalog is these two pages that we've scrolled through. The product cut sheet is just only this one page. Uh, this is the page where we're looking at the manufacturer's uh, information. And this link to the manufacturer's web uh, site page within our website, let's talk about that now. Before we get to that manufacturer's page, this will of course be available in all of the finishes that DCI supplies the roller latches, US3 for polished brass, US4 satin brass, US10 satin bronze, US10B oil rubbed bronze, US26 polished chrome, US26D satin chrome. Okay. Now that link below this video to the manufacturer's page will allow you to review not only all of the DCI products that we sell, but also a link to the manufacturer's website. I happen to have a 4030 here client ordered the 4030s with the B-Strike. Um, all the DCI products that we sell are linked to the manufacturer's web website and then the full line catalog is there. I am partial to DCI and it's because they are a simple, what I mean to say is a no-nonsense distributor of trim and auxiliary hardware. You send them a PO, they ship the material out. It's just that simple. Um, not every company has simplicity sorted out, but they do very well. Their technical support is very good. It's generally the person who answers the phone. Um, their shipping lead times, to say it again, are prompt, reliable, and predictable. A very good quality item. You're buying trim and auxiliary from someone, and you might want to take a look at DCI. They have um, a very nimble footprint. And if you've seen the name Panax in a specification, that's a DCI product. Any questions on the 4030B strike or any other? DCI product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.